Welcome to all our iGod Today followers, not only in this country, but around the world as well. Hi, I am privileged to be with you today. Well, the apostles were getting their act together, and we see it so beautifully in today's first reading. You know, it might well have been one of their first administrative acts of this incipient Catholic Church. The apostles are assessing the needs of other communities and assigning, in effect, missionaries to their known Roman world. Peter and his counselors were coming to fully realize the mandate of Jesus to go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Well, in this case, it was Paul and Barnabas being sent with a letter and a decision to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin. What they had to say was greatly appreciated as is evidenced by its receptions. In other words, when the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. In other words, <clears throat> those Gentiles would not be required to undergo circumcision and become sons of Abraham before taking up and accepting all that Jesus had to offer. Now, mind you, that was a major and a brave adjustment for those well-brought-up sons of Israel. And all of that we see being repeated today. As a member of the Divine Word Missionaries, who are now working in 84 countries, I have witnessed similar gifts being shared. The Pauls and the Barnabases continue to be sent out and to go out today. These Latter-day Apostles continue to strive to understand and appreciate the need to respectfully change and evolve in the light of today's culture and norms. I mean, we, we may not have to do anything so radical as to excuse the brothers from circumcision, but we must try and alleviate contemporary obstacles that hinder anyone from Jesus' final exhortation in today's gospel. This I command you, love one another. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Amen. Amen.